Former President Trump on Friday urged Republicans in Congress not to cut a single penny from Medicare or Social Security. A notable warning as some GOP lawmakers prepare to use the debt ceiling debate as leverage to try securing spending cuts. Under no circumstance should Republicans vote to cut a single penny from Medicare or Social Security to help pay for Joe Biden's reckless spending spree, which is more reckless than anybody's ever done or had in the history of our country, Trump said in a recorded video statement posted to Truth Social. The former president, who in November launched 2024 White House campaign, called for cuts to a slew of other areas, including funding for corrupt foreign countries, climate extremism, oh man, here we go again, um, left-wing gender programs from our military and waste, fraud, and abuse everywhere we can find it, he lambasted Biden's spending agenda, though the national debt increased by roughly $7 trillion during the Trump administration. While we absolutely need to stop Biden's out-of-control spending, the pain should be borne by Washington bureaucrats, not by hardworking American families and American seniors. Trump said the seniors are being absolutely destroyed are being absolutely destroyed in the last two years. The former president's message about protecting Social Security and Medicare is consistent with his previous comments on the issue as a candidate in 2016. But Friday's video dropped as Republicans in Congress are readying for a fight over raising the debt limit, with some conservatives arguing cuts of reform Social Security and Medicare should be on the table in order to balance spending. Trump's comments on the social safety net are also in line with the message coming from the Biden White House. Biden has repeatedly warned Republicans may try to cut programs including Social Security and Medicare and vow to veto any such efforts. The White House has been adamant that it will not negotiate lifting the debt ceiling with conditions such as spending cuts. The U.S. hit its debt limit this week, and the Treasury Department this week enacted extraordinary measures to continue to pay its debts, giving lawmakers until June to reach a deal to raise the limit. The debt ceiling accounts for money the government has already spent and approved, not future spending. Democrats approached Trump's comments with skepticism. Donald Trump's own record speaks for itself. Every year was in office, Trump proposed cutting Social Security and Medicare programs. Rianne Lake, a spokesman for the Democratic National Committee, said in a statement, Americans overwhelmingly rejected the MAGA agenda instead of gutting Social Security, Medicare, and Affordable Health Care in 2018, 2020, and 2022, and will do so again. So Trump's comments... I thought they were worth covering because, well, I mean, he is the only major Republican running currently, although I, I expect that will change in the, next couple, in the next couple of weeks, month or so. But his comments are interesting because I vaguely remember, and I'm glad the article added that part in of him um, proposing to cut Medicare and Social Security while he was in office. And that's why I said that, like, a lot of his appeal back when he was a candidate in 2016 was the uh, the factor of the unknown. He didn't have this record you could go and look at and say, oh, he said this, but he voted that way. Now we actually see that. So, like, if he was just this person that was running saying that on the Republican side, I would be. Because he's someone who's been president before, who's proposed cutting these programs in the past. Now I know that he's just wishy-washy. He just switches from one side to the other. The part of this that's interesting is where we start getting into his proposals of what to cut, where he says funding for corrupt foreign countries. Now, that's something that I really can get behind, but there's a caveat because what do we know about Republicans? There are certain countries like Israel and Saudi Arabia that they're completely fine with funding and having no problem selling weapons to and aiding in the different you know military conflicts, etc., so he'd have to define what corrupt foreign countries he's talking about for me to get behind it. Climate extremism. Now, you know, it's so funny to have someone who, like, this is a guy that, that got us out of the Paris screen. We were on one of only three countries to not be in it, by the way. Um, talk. So th really, climate extremism, if it's being practiced by anybody, it's probably the Republicans because they don't want to do anything with the environment nine times out of ten. Um, you have like a couple of them, like Murkowski or something, but that's that's extremely rare. So you, he's telling us to cut funding for something that is is not even clearly defined because his idea of climate extremism is anyone that wants to fund things to protect the environment.
climate extremism? Are you talking about the EPA? Or are you talking to, I mean, the Green New Deal hasn't been passed. So, like, I, I don't, again, just more vague nonsense. Um, left wing gender programs from our military. I don't know what that means. Gender programs. Really, I don't even know any politicians that talk that much about the military. At least, you know, national ones. Waste, fraud, and abuse anywhere we can find it. Which is kind of funny because uh, you could make an argument that these wars were in our waste, fraud, and abuse. When you just consider how we spend hundreds of billions of dollars every year on the same five... Well, it was, it was seven, but, you know, Biden got us out of um, Yemen and Afghanistan on the same four or five conflicts every year. And we just never win them and you see no progress. And it just stays the same in this endless cycle. I think there's a case we made that the waste, fraud, and abuse are our, um, that, like, there's an actual thing there, but he's, he's still not going to direct it in a way that is specific. But yeah, these these are some comments that I could really get behind if he didn't have that that record, and that's why I said that like, uh, it's it's so sad to see him just keep deteriorating because I'm I'm always there's always that one thing he says or does I'm like oh man that's interesting, like these comments are interesting because they come as Republicans in Congress are talking about do, making cuts to Social Security and Medicare, and he's saying no you shouldn't do this. That'll hurt our party. And he's right, by the way, um, that it that this is not something they should do. And there are plenty of other things they could cut, even if the things he's listing are not right, in my opinion. Um, but I, you just can't trust him. Like, now his record is, just shows he's all over the place. So he's right, but not for the right reasons. 